Hey, I'm excited to show you guys how to make your own board game. Just go to gamesstructure.com and from there you can customize this board and you can also test how uh, feasible the game is. So I'll show you mine. It's based on the book, The Sky Dweller and the Search for Wildlands. So, in the book, The Sky Dweller, there are four different race types. So, there's the Sky Dweller, the, land, the Sea Dweller, the Land Dweller, and the Wanderer. So, it's here in the starting line and then the finish line. And then I made these bridges to show the tokens can move from one box to another like snakes and ladders so you'll need some polymer clay and some clay tools I also made this polymer clay dice because I want it to be huge. We're gonna use acrylic paint to paint over this. Here are all our tokens. We have the sky dweller, so I just painted the bottom part red and the entire body gold. I used for a halo, uh, the ring from Lego. For the land dweller, is a unicorn. The base is green, and I used a shell for the horn. For the sea dweller, I used shells as well for her outfit and for her hair and I color the bottom blue for the wanderer the bottom is purple I used uh, beads for the eyes as an accent and for some other tokens that we'll use on the board game is the sea dwellers while on its a trident. It's also made of polymer clay and I painted it gold. And then a sword for the land dweller, a sphere or a halo for the sky dweller, and a potion for the wanderer. Okay, so the first thing that players need to do is to draw a card. So the first player is the land dweller, the second is the sky dweller. The third is the Sea Dweller, and the fourth player is the Wanderer. Now to set up the game, we're going to distribute these tokens into the boxes. Okay, now that we've distributed each Wylum, uh, I want you to look over this side. So there's this plate. That's where you'll be adding the Y lumps once you've taken them from the board. So the order is Sky Dweller first, then Sea Dweller, Land Dweller, and then the last one will be the Wanderer. So the Sky Dweller rolls the dice first. He gets a two. So let's move the Sky Dweller. One, two. Get the Wanderer's Y lump and add that to the plate. Every Wylum is worth 20 points, but if you get the Wylum from the same race like this one, then it's 50 points. So let's put that back. Next is the Sea Dweller's turn. Four. One, two, three, four. So since she's along the bridge, she, she goes up instantly so she's closer to the finish line and then add that while I'm there 
and then we go on so far. One, four. So here's the trick. One, two, three, four. The snake goes up as well. If two tokens are on the same block, then you can challenge the person who has a wylum. The first one to draw would be Sea Dweller because she's the one who has more wylums. She gets a six and the Wanderer gets a two. So at this point, the Wanderer owes the Sea Dweller one wylum. But if in case they get a draw, let, let's say they get both twos, then nobody gets anything. Also, if a token lands on a block with a bridge that contains two wylums, then that token gets two, both wylums. Okay, so it looks like the Sea Dweller finishes first, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So this block and this block are considered as one block. She gets 50 points instantly for finishing first. The second token to finish will get 30 points and the last person will get 10 points. The token who finishes last, for example, Land Dweller finishes last, he gets minus 20 points. Okay, so, and then once the game is over, all you need to do is to count the points. So here, 50 points plus 20, 20, 50 for the Sea Dweller Wylum, and then 20, uh, 50, 50, 20, and 50, 20. Okay, so based on our tally, Sky and Sea Dweller gets a tie. Thank you guys for watching the video. I'm sure the entire family is gonna enjoy this board game. The book The Sky Dweller and the Search for Wylums is available on Amazon. It's free on Kindle Unlimited. If you buy it, if you buy the paperback, then the Kindle is free on Matchbook. Thank you!